What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to copy and paste items from Excel and get them directly into SharePoint. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's go ahead and get that timer, please. All right, bam, 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 bam. Let's say you got this here uh, wild and crazy uh, list of things in Excel, and you want to get it into here without having to type ones and twosies. We're just going to go in here. You're going to select all these bad boys. You're going to right-click. You're going to copy that stuff. You're going to go to the list, and you're going to throw it in the edit and grid view mode. You might notice quick edit and you're, you're going to you're going to click here. Just trust me, then click away and then go control V. Boom. You just did that thing. Woo. You did it. Well, actually, we want to save it. So exit grid view and now it's saved. So I don't know if we made it in 60 seconds. Uh, let me know in the comments if we did, because I'm probably not going to check. So here we go. Uh, let's break it down a little bit here. OK, so let's say we clear this out, right? And we got this list or I guess, you know, maybe let's I can't undo it now, but let's say maybe you had an entry in here. Just just bear with me. Just bear with me here. Uh, we'll go like that and we'll go like that. OK, and then we'll save. So let's say we got stuff in here. So not only can you, you know, start out a brand new list this way, but you can also append a list. I do believe we're about to find out here um, in a couple of seconds. But OK. One thing I didn't mention here uh, in the quick hit intro is that you need to have the uh, same columns and they need to be in the same orientation. So uh, if we go back to our Excel spreadsheet, we can see here we have first name, last name and the user number. So if we're going to copy this goodness right here, if we're going to copy this, we're going to drag a window, right click copy so it's on the clipboard now uh but it needs to be you know in the same orientation here uh, otherwise it'll just be all kinds of wild but you can you know move things around if you need to move them around you know drag and move stuff to make it fit what you have in excel so once you got it all looking right same same you're going to go and still go to edit and grid view and then i believe i can just click down here Oh yeah, there we go. We click into the add new item slot and make sure there's no cursor because if you have a cursor, I'll show you what's going to happen if you if you do that, that it all just gets slammed into that one cell and that's no good for anybody. Uh, so we're going to make sure it's not blinking. So we're going to click underneath. I know it seems weird. Trust me. And then boom, you can append the list. So. There you go. That's a bonus. You figured out how to like start a brand new list uh, with nothing and how to append a list that already has list items. Key thing is to make sure that you have the, uh, you know, the same columns and they are in the uh, correct orientation. There you go. Hope this has been helpful. Appreciate your help. Thank you for liking, subscribing. And remember, SharePoint rocks. And so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward, yeah I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup, all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.